What's up everyone? Happy Sunday. Today I really wanted to do like a Sunday reset type of video, but kind of just like centering around like spring resets and resetting for a new season. Um, I feel like I've really felt the shift in just like the energy and like the climate and everything like here in Houston. It's like, okay, like spring is here, like the cold days are gone and I don't know, I'm like really trying to prepare myself for, I don't know, like a shift. I just love spring, it's my favorite season ever. If you listen to my podcast, you know that, but on my podcast I actually recently did a whole episode on how to like reset your life for like a new season and just spring clean your whole life. And I wanted this to be like a video form of that kind of, so I'm super excited. Just be sharing some of the things that I'm doing to just kind of like reset for a new week. And I'm kind of gonna carry this vlog throughout this week because realistically speaking, I'm the type of person that when they make a to-do list for themselves, especially when I'm resetting for a new season, when I make a to-do list, I a lot of times fall into the mindset that I have to do everything on my let list right then and there on that day and it all has to get done in one day. But that's super unrealistic, so I highly encourage you to not think that way if you often tend to get stuck in a cycle of thinking you need to do everything right away. And it's much more realistic, especially with working full time, to take a day by day approach to spring resets and spring cleaning and that kind of thing. Um, and I actually just got back today from a quick like little day overnight trip to Corpus Christi. My family, my parents flew in and then my brother and I drove because my brother also lives like in Houston area and we drove the Corpus Christi to go see my grandma. And I just got back today and it's like three o'clock. And um, thankfully my wonderful boyfriend cleaned a majority of the place for me already. So I don't have to worry about that going into this week. We haven't cleaned our place in like two or three weeks, like all the way through. So I'm so thankful that he did that this morning because really we just have to finish up our laundry and then I'm gonna mop the floors. Thankfully he already took care of all of that. So I'm just gonna show you guys everything else that I'm doing to prepare for this week and just sort of reset because I feel like things have been really hectic the past couple of weeks and I haven't really had the time to just like properly prepare myself for a new week and I think now's the perfect time to do it since spring just started and it's a new season and I love that. But there will be a little bit of cleaning. We're gonna do a little bit of planning for the week and yeah, I might have to do a little bit of work tonight. I don't really know yet. Today's vlog is also sponsored by Puppy U, which I'm so excited about because it is the vacuum we have been loving and using um, for the last couple of months. So I'm super excited to share more about them. My dog is attached to my hip right now since I left overnight. Griffin stayed here with her, but she has been like attached to my hip since I got home. But first things first, unpacking. I'm the type of person that unpacks as soon as I get home from a trip because I hate to just have stuff sitting around and I won't get to it if I don't get to it right then and there when I get home. I pretty much just took this Lululemon duffel bag that I've had for a while, which was my gym bag when I was like strength training and like actually going to a literal gym and I like pulled everything out of it. So I'm gonna put everything back into it now um, since I packed it, so let's do that. Now that I'm unpacked, the next step for me is laundry because I really want to like switch out our sheets, but we have laundry on our bed right now. Um, Griffin did most of it and then he has some stuff going right now. I wanna wash our duvet cover because it's been a couple weeks since we've done that but I am gonna switch out the sheets because we do have a second set of sheets, which we didn't have two sets of sheets for the longest time, but it's so nice to have two sets of sheets. Like we don't have the exact same set, but it's okay. It's like having a second set because it's a lot easier when you do want to clean and um, you don't have to like worry about getting it all done in that day. But before we get the laundry started, I'm gonna put on a playlist. Something I love to do, especially like at the start of new seasons is make new playlists. I used to make a new playlist for every single month, but that kind of, after like two years of doing that, I kind of fell off doing that. And I made a playlist called Spring Refresh that I'm going to shuffle. And it's just like songs that just like make me feel like the season. Um, it's definitely not done, but there's literally like barely any songs on it so far. But I'm going to shuffle that because I love listening to music while I'm cleaning up.
keep with the theme of this vlog and to tell you all about something that I've absolutely been loving for my cleaning routine weekly and whenever I decide to clean up each week and especially now that we're trying to spring clean. We have been absolutely loving our Puppy U T12 Plus Rinse Vacuum. Puppy U has over 22 years of experience in the vacuum industry and the T12 series is the most powerful cordless vacuum that Puppy U has to offer and we absolutely love ours. I have been wanting a cordless vacuum for so long and I actually had purchased one when we moved here but the battery life on it is not great at all so I was super excited when Puppy U reached out and wanted me to try out their product and I absolutely love my T12 Plus Rinse and I love that it's cordless so it's super easy for me to just grab and clean up quickly if I make a quick mess I'm not having to like unravel a cord and plug it in and push it around I'm able to just quickly grab it and it's charged and ready to go and then I can just vacuum up whatever mess I have or if I'm doing a full thorough cleaning it's really quick to get out and put away it comes with a really great storage station where you can put all of your attachments and store them properly the charger dock has four plug boards on the side which allows you to really store all the accessories for your vacuum super well and the wall mounts can hold the vacuum and everything on the wall in one space and nice and tidy so you're able to store and charge your vacuum all in one space really easily this is the main body of the puppy t12 plus rinse as you can see we have used it a lot um, with how much dirt and dust we have sucked up the magnetic dustbin is super easy to assemble and disassemble and you don't have to like hassle trying to figure out how to dump your dustbin just pulls straight out and then it goes right back in when you're ready to reload it this is the power button it has an OLED screen, which basically shows you the percentage it's on. It also will give you alerts if you're not putting the dustbin in correctly, and it'll turn itself off when the machine's fully charged to help save energy. Or if the air duct gets blocked or something, it will let you know if there's any type of alerts on the screen, which is really nice. This is the metal extension tube, which is basically allows you to attach the different attachments. Right now we have the motorized double roller brush. So I'm gonna show you all what it sounds like in eco mode when we make the switch right here. On eco mode, fully charges can run up to 70 minutes, which is really great for like a thorough cleaning throughout the house and it saves the most energy. Then I'm gonna switch it to auto mode so you all can hear the difference with that. And this will basically adjust its suction power based on how much of a mess you're cleaning up. So if you're cleaning up a lot of dust and hair, it will automatically increase its suction power and then it'll decrease it if you're not vacuuming up as much dust and hair. Now we're going to go to super mode, which has the strongest suction, and this will be 185 air watts. And then for the mopping mode, you can only use it with a mopping brush. It has these two spinning mops and a water tank, so you just fill up the water tank. You push the power button and hold it down for three seconds and it will enter into mopping mode. For the mopping brush, there is a suction duct that has a suction in the front and on the sides. And the water tank is digitally controlled so it evenly wets the mopping brushes. There's a water control switch at the back of the water tank so you can control how much water volume you have based on like where you live and the humidity and just how much water you need. It's really great because you can just detach them and they're Velcro and then throw them in the wash when you're done so you can reuse them next time which has been a huge lifesaver for us when we make messes in the kitchen when we like spill stuff on the floor mopping mode with the mopping brush is really great for removing those stains off the floor the vacuum uses a six stage filtration system and it can filter out 99.99 percent of dust particles and intercept micro matter as small as 0.3 micrometers so the six stages are the dustbin cyclone inside the dustbin and then the 0.5 millimeter metal mesh and then third the multi-cone cyclone and it goes through an h10 hepa filter an air outlet sponge and then an H12 HEPA filter. The motorized double roller brush uses two rollers, just like the name suggests. There's a soft ni nylon roller at the front and then a carbon fiber bristle brush in the back. And they're both detachable and can be cleaned and washed, which is huge. And the soft roller is really great for like floor tiles, hardwood floors, marble, that kind of thing. And then the bristle roller is really great for carpets and rugs. There are two sets of LED lights that are mounted on the double roller brush as well in the front. So it makes cleaning in dark corners and dark spaces a lot easier because you can just see like crumbs and small little pieces of dust and hair way better than if you don't have any lighting on a vacuum. And the brush head can turn 180 degrees, which is so great for getting in corners and having a lot of flexibility to make your cleaning easier and not really having to make the vacuum work in your corners and instead the vacuum works for you. And there's a lighted crevice nozzle, which we really love for getting like behind pieces of furniture, getting in corners or like the cleaning underneath our couch cushions and it's lighted and it's like this aqua blue color and the whole nozzle is transparent. So it makes it really easy to see what you're sucking up. And the 
light is really strong, so it's really great for like behind our nightstand where like a lot of dust typically accumulates. There's a motorized mattress brush, which we've never even had anything to clean our mattress, but it's really great for like sofas, bedding, your mattress, and other furniture. There's a telescopic hose that can turn and bend it well at up to 70 centimeters, which really helps you get any sharp corners, uncleaned areas that are kind of harder to get to since it can bend and extend. The two-in-one square brush has a retractable part on it, and you can slide it up or down to make use of its dual function. When it is in its retracted position, the square brush is really great for flat and even surfaces. So if you're wanting to clean like a tabletop or a desk or a chair, and when it's in its normal position, it's really great for more irregular surfaces. So if you were wanting to clean like all the dust on your keyboard or just something that has more of an irregular surface. And then there's a soft feather brush, which has a soft ring of nylon hair. And it's really great for cleaning any textiles like curtains. Puppy U is having a spring cleaning event on Amazon in April, and you all will be able to get a really great deal through that event. If you want to check out the good price during this special sale and for more information, you can check out the special link in my description box. We love our Puppy U T12 Plus rents and how it has made cleaning so much more easy and efficient and less of a hassle for us and how we're able to just grab it and go. And it's been such a game changer having a cordless powerful vacuum. So highly recommend the T12 Plus rents and thank you so much to Puppy U for sponsoring today's video. Okay, now we're moving on to the rest of the bathroom. Griffin got most of it cleaned, but I'm gonna do the shower and tub. Um, I'm just gonna use this little brush with some shower cleaner. But I also like to like go through my shower products with the new season, my skincare products, and usually my makeup, and just kind of clean things out and get rid of the old or expired stuff. Or if, a lot of times I like forget to throw away things in the shower, so going through like the empty products and throwing them out and replacing my razor blade, just like little things like that. To pull everything out of the shower so that we can really get a nice deep clean. I usually like to replace my eucalyptus too, but I haven't been the Trader Joe's, so I haven't been able to do that yet. But definitely like to like replace the old, get in with the new, and really give everything a good clean. Since I'm sort of breaking everything up throughout the week, today's definitely the more cleaning focused day, but I also typically like to pick up my groceries on Monday mornings, and I don't know yet if we're gonna go pick up groceries tonight and like actually go to the store, or if I'm gonna do curbside in the morning. Um, we don't have anything to cook here tonight, and I don't really feel like eating anything out, to be honest. So once Griffin's home from the gym, we'll figure that out, but I do want to plan out like groceries. We don't need a ton, um, just because we get hella fresh every week. We're also currently trying out Tavala. So we really don't need a lot of groceries for like dinners. We just kind of need lunch stuff and breakfast stuff restocks. So I'm going to get that ready on the HEB app and get the curbside order ready. But if we end up deciding to go tonight in person, then I'll just use that as like my shopping list with everything that's in my cart. So, um, but each day this week, is, it's kind of my goal to just like do one thing that sort of helps me reset. Um, whether that's, you know, cleaning related, going through things and decluttering, doing something for myself, like a self-care like routine or something of that sort. So definitely stay tuned for all of that throughout the week, but it'll be like a regular vlog, vlog but I'm just gonna be focusing on those types of things. I just realized that I haven't really had anything to eat today. I had some oatmeal this morning at the hotel and then I had a little bit of trail mix and some fruit on my drive and I've ate nothing else besides that and it's almost 4.30. And when you're cleaning, you kind of work up an appetite and I haven't even really done that much cleaning. I've just literally been doing laundry and I just did the shower. So I'm gonna make a protein smoothie really quick. Do frozen banana if we have frozen and if we don't, then I just do one banana with ice. Then almond milk, about a cup. And my favorite protein right now is the JS Health Cinnamon Roll. This is my second container, and I'm just doing half a scoop because I don't really need like a ton of protein powder right now. I do about a quarter to a half cup of oats. Just depends on the day. Cinnamon. And then I do 
And then just to make the smoothie have more, because this won't make a lot, I'm just gonna put some ice cubes in it. Sometimes I'll put cacao powder in it if I'm feeling spicy or like some chocolate chips, but I'm just doing my typical right now. When you add ice, it makes it more of like a frosty type of consistency instead of a smoothie. Getting on Pinterest on Sundays, there's something so special about just, I don't know, pulling up Pinterest and getting inspired. And I have like a spring 2022 board for like inspiration. And I don't know, I just absolutely love spending like 10 minutes on Pinterest and just going through everything on here. So if you don't listen to my podcast, I upload on Mondays and I recorded yesterday before I went out of town. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and schedule that earlier and make the podcast Instagram story that I like to post when a new episode goes up. And then I also went ahead and scheduled my Instagram post for tomorrow for tomorrow evening. Cause I always typically just post on the podcast Instagram on Monday evenings when a new episode, um, since Monday's the day the, the new episode goes up. So yeah, that's what I did earlier. You'll saw me do that on Canva. That's where I do all of that. And it's so nice because you can schedule the post so I don't have to like worry about remembering to do it, which is so great. I got my HEB curbside order made. Unfortunately, I can't get it in the morning tomorrow because I waited too late to place the order today. Um, so I won't be able to get it until like my lunch break tomorrow, which is fine. But yeah, we got that taken care of. I just sent off my um, sponsorship integration. I finished up the final edits on that and I'm getting the final edits on my vlog to go up this Wednesday. I need to get like the music added and then it'll be good to export and upload. And yeah, that's like pretty much everything I wanted to take care of today. But I am going to shower off and then get in bed because it's 8.30 and I like going to bed early, especially on Sunday nights. And I'm planning on getting up early in the morning to do a workout here at my apartment gym. So I want to get enough sleep so I can have sleep when I get up early tomorrow. But I think Sunday nights are so special for me. I really have to like take care of myself and just like chill out because if I can because I typically just get pretty anxious on Sundays. So I like to do things that, like make me feel better. So I'm going to shower, light a candle, that kind of thing, and just reset for the week. It feels so good to have a clean space again, to have laundry ready and the groceries already like taken care of before I even wake up in the morning. So I'm excited about that. in bed now and I have my like wind down routine going on my hatch so I have my red lights and the calm ocean sound going and I don't read every single night before bed I just turn off the ocean sound so hopefully you can hear me better and I turn off my humidifier but I don't read every night before bed but I feel like traditionally speaking I do typically read I feel like on Sundays even if it's not right before bed I do usually try to read on Sundays and with my spring like reset and resetting for a new season, I love beach setting books, like where the books are based like on the beach, like Malibu Rising, that type of thing. And I started Summer of 69 and I am really loving it so far. I'm also in the middle of reading two other books, but every time I thought about reading and reading one of those two books, I, I just wasn't motivated to. So I'm just like listening to myself and letting myself read what I wanna read and I'll pick back up on the other two books when I want to but I'm just gonna read like a chapter of that to help myself wind down and fall asleep. And I really love like reading those types of books like this time of year, cause it really just helps me get in the mood for the season and reminds me of home, which y'all know I miss so much. But um, it is 9.45 and I'm gonna read a chapter and then hit the hay. It is eight o'clock and I just made my coffee and I am in the middle of making my little yogurt bowl that I always eat. My goals for this new season and just like for the spring 
is to continue just like listening to my body in terms of like workouts and just doing like what makes me feel best. I feel like I've done a really great job of that um, so far in 2022. And this morning I went, as y'all saw, um, like to my apartment gym and normally my friends Savannah and I every Monday morning, we will do like a Melissa would help video together on Monday mornings and sometimes we do it like a second day during the week. But this morning we just did like a full body stretching flow and my back hurts so bad I think from sleeping on a hotel mattress two nights ago and it's not even like normally I'm fine but I was sleeping on like one of the pull up or roll away beds so I wasn't on like an actual hotel bed. And I don't necessarily think it was like the bed, I think it was the bed and the way I slept. But the whole like left side of my back from my shoulder all the way down is in extreme pain. So we just did like a stretching flow this morning for Melissa would help instead of like a Pilates, like more high intense um, body weight thing. So that felt really good. So I'm definitely maintaining that this week. And lately my workouts that I've been preferring have just been like spin and then doing those at home Pilates and yoga flows and I would like to like actually go to a Pilates studio because I can go through my um, gym pass app that I get access to through work and I can go to like really so many different places just like for one price and it's so good and I want to take advantage of it but I just like keep putting off going to Pilates for some reason so I'm setting it as a goal for myself to go like either this week or next week and try it but hopefully once my back feels a little bit better I'm not like rushing myself into it but I just made my coffee and um, I think I'm gonna sit on the couch for like 20 minutes while I drink my coffee I'm really bad about eating my breakfast and stuff like while I am like starting work for the day which I think is like fine but I would rather just like keep it separate you know and since I have time this morning I'm just going to like eat my breakfast on the couch um, I want to start doing this too this season like just be a lot better about like actually stepping away for lunch actually stepping away for dinner and breakfast as well um, and I love like getting up early to do these things because I have so much time in the morning to just like do my morning routine and I've been like taking it super slow. I did like my um, five minute journal and like my little devotional that I like to do and um, I did my skincare, ice rolling, gua sha, all the good stuff. So I'm gonna get on at 8.30. I'm gonna turn on like either some music and just like sit on the couch with Ella and chill while I eat my breakfast and drink my coffee or a YouTube video if one's up, but I'm like super selective about like what I consume especially like in the mornings um, just because it can really like affect my mood for the day if I'm like not in the right headspace. So I am going to like watch something that like makes me feel good, productive, um, just to get me in the mood for today because I am feeling a little tired this morning even though I got a good amount of sleep. So cheers to today, let's get to work. It's late afternoon. I took a little bit of a later lunch today since my grocery pickup was at two o'clock. Um, and I just got home from picking those up. I also went through a quick car wash that was right across the street from HEB um, because I hate leaving bugs on my car after like a road trip so that like they can like harden in the paints and stuff. And my windshield was just like absolutely filthy and I really needed a car wash. So I just went through a really quick car wash to clean the outside of my car and then came back home and I'm gonna put away the groceries really quick and then heat up some lunch and get back to work. Unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to eat my lunch at my desk um, just because I took up a lot of my lunch break by running to the grocery store really quickly, but it's all good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away now, but definitely glad to have that out of the way for this week, have like stuff for dinner tonight and getting a car wash was something I wanted to do as part of my spring reset and seasonal refresh because I just feel like my life is a million times more put together when I get a car wash, you know? And I still need to like clean out my trunk and stuff, but I'm gonna save that for like a weekend. Really quickly, I'm freaking out. Um, Y'all know I'm like addicted to kombucha and I'm addicted to the prickly pear from Buddha's Brew. It's like my absolute favorite flavor. So I put this on my grocery pickup. Cause I was like, maybe it's good. <laughs> and I tried it. And I think I like it like just as much, if not maybe more than the prickly pear because it's not as sweet as the prickly pear. It's so refreshing. It doesn't taste like greens at all. It tastes like a pineapple 
tart pineapple and greens, but like you can't taste any greens flavor. It's so good. But I'm heating up some leftover quinoa from last week and some leftover crispy chick chickpeas from last week. Brussels sprouts, shaved Brussels sprouts season from last week that I still have left over in the air fryer for a couple minutes. And I'm gonna throw that on top. I'm also gonna chop up the rest of this red onion and I'm gonna make some more of the lemon tahini honey dressing because I'm out of that and I wanna put that on top of the bowl. So I'm gonna make more of that really quickly too. Morning everyone, happy Tuesday. Like a little bit of cinnamon swirl nut pods that I have left over from forever ago, which I, is actually growing on me. I didn't really love it at first, but like it's growing on me if I put it like with cinnamon and with oat milk instead of just like, just using the pods. Um, so like it's good in lattes, but like if I were to put it in a hot cup of coffee, I don't really think I would like it by itself. I'd rather just do like cinnamon and a splash of oat milk. I don't know. I had some work come in last night at like 8.30 that has a somewhat tight deadline. The deadline's Thursday, but the manager want, wanted it in this morning, so I went ahead and did it last night. But then my senior who reviewed it had one adjustment that they sent last night, literally five minutes after I got into bed. So I was like, I'm gonna have to just do this in the morning, because I literally had like just laid down in bed. I was like, wow, what incredible timing. But um, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. But yeah, let's eat our breakfast, drink our coffee, and get the day started. Alright guys, I'm grabbing my spin shoes and I'm heading off to spin class. Definitely have been looking forward to this since, since this morning. I literally feel like I've been counting down the hours because um, I'm just like so excited to go, um, which is a great feeling being able to feel that way when you work out. But I just ate a built bar for some quick protein. I had a green smoothie earlier. I got asked to pick up 40 hours next week at a, at like a client site and it's not like a client I'm on. It's, it would just be like for next week. But Ella actually has surgery next week and I actually haven't talked about it because I'm like nervous about it And I'm not like nervous because like I know it'll be okay But it just like breaks my heart that like She's having to do it and that she like might be in pain um, But I mean she'll be sedated for it. So it's okay, but she has surgery next Tuesday she's getting dentals and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be extracting one of her teeth. She's like always had problems with one tooth like since I got her um, but like never any serious problems and she had a tooth abscess a couple weeks ago and I had to take her to the emergency vet Like late at night on a weekend and this was like a while ago and I just didn't mention anything about it because it was like a really stressful time During like I was just going through a lot that week and I just I couldn't I don't know I just didn't like talk about it because it made me cry and I hated seeing her in pain and Basically, this is like when her scheduled appointment is and I don't want to move her surgery because it's like pretty urgent Because she needs to have it taken care of as soon as possible um, And last time I picked up extra work it ended up like screwing me over because the work wasn't really available when they said it would be and It ended up like hitting me during one of my busiest weeks and I had to work like a 15-hour day and so I asked if I could like just do like every other day next week besides Tuesday. I was kind of like scurrying this afternoon trying to figure out my other engagements for next week because I actually don't have a lot booked next week, which is weird. I might be doing that next week, which that'll be really interesting because I don't even know where it is. So if I have to like commute pretty far, that will be interesting as well, but we'll see. Um, I'm hoping tonight I can like come home, make dinner and shower, wash my hair and like kind of get to bed early because tomorrow's going to be a longer day just because I am going in office and there's like a tax happy hour for my firm tomorrow. So that's from like four to seven. So it'll be a long day in that sense, but I would like to be like just well rested, I guess. But hopefully nothing comes in tonight so I can do that, but we'll see. Um, let's get the spin. I made my liquid IV too. Y'all know you can always get 25% off of free shipping with my code Abby Aslan, Abby period Aslan, I think. Yeah, it's always in the description box and the link is in the description box as well. Um, but let's get a spin.
Okay, coffee is secured. I felt like being bold this morning and I'm trying the toast of vanilla chicken espresso for the first time. A lot of my like close friends and like people like I actually know have said it's really good and they like it. I've just seen so many things say that it tastes like a Bath and Body Works candle. And then I asked some of my friends, I was like, do you think it tastes like that? And they were like, yeah, kind of, but it's really good. So let's try it. I got it half sweet though. Um, I did not want to have like a sugar crash in the middle of my work day. Okay, it's pretty good. Totally get the candle comment 100%, but it's like just a little bit like, just a little bit toastier than the regular vanilla, um, but it's good. I like it. Um, definitely like not my favorite drink of all time or anything, but it's still really good. I got a venti because I just need help. <laughs> Let's head to work. What's up guys? I am home now. I wanted to come home before I went to the happy hour, so I just left a little bit earlier than like everybody else's from office. Office was pretty busy today because so many people like I guess plan on going to the happy hour straight from the office, which is what I anticipated. Um, but I was expecting less people to show up because just because the weather was so bad this morning. There was literally a tornado warning like while we were working and I checked my phone like an hour later and saw we have one and I was like, oh, this it's a good thing that nothing bad happened because I would have had no idea that we needed to take cover or anything because I didn't have my phone on me. Yeah, I am going to head to the happy hour here in a second. I just walked Ella. I know I haven't mentioned any spring refresh type of things that I've done in a couple days, but one of the things is refreshing our room a little bit and bathroom. Nothing crazy at all, just things that feel more like bright and happy and springy. And I got some of it in right here in the mail today. Okay, so I mentioned refreshing our bathroom and bedroom a little bit, and Target had a really great bed and bath sale this week. Um, I think stuff is still on sale right now, and their stuff ships so fast, I feel like, for the most part. So I got us a bath mat, which y'all know I had an Urban Outfitters one that I loved, but I accidentally ruined it in the washing machine, and it, I didn't want to get white because the white just gets so dingy in the bathroom so quick, and that's what my last Urban Outfitters one was. And I bought this two pack from Target that's black like on a whim one day when I went in a couple months ago. And I hate that they're not the same size because I didn't realize they were different sizes when I bought them. So I ordered this one from Target because it was like 25% off and it's like this beautiful light green color and it's a runner. And it's so pretty, so pretty. And I just think it's gonna brighten up the space so much because everything else in here is kind of like very cool toned. Ignore the counter being kind of messy right now, but just looks so good and I think it's a nice little pop of color because everything else in here is literally neutral like we use black and gray towels we have a black bath mat black and like taupe counters so it's so plush so comfy I love it and then I feel like it goes really well with like a little floral vibe right there and then just for a few clothing items I ordered that I wanted to show you all that Rakami was having a sale last week about 25 percent off I think and got this little green top I thought I could wear it to work um, I was a little bit cheaper than the Arezzo ones I like and I just wanted to try these to see if they were comparable and it feels pretty comparable but I just love the screen and even if I can't wear it to work which I'm sure I can with my higher waisted pants um, it'll still be a good like spring and summer staple to have and then I got this bodysuit which feels like literal butter it's like a boat neck type of style it's like this grayish taupe color I just thought this would be really cute for work I ordered some black like chunky loafers that I think this will look so good with with like my black red state effortless pants and this will also just be good for spring and summer as a basic I just really like getting things that I can wear both to work and not to work for the most part and then getting a few pieces like for strictly outside of work um but this is literally so soft it feels like softer than like a wine pants from Lulu. So love that. I didn't really buy any new swimsuits last year um, just cause like summer I pretty much spent in Tuscaloosa and then I spent like one month here. But I love swimsuits being my, the Florida girl that I am. Um, I got this adorable one from Abercrombie. So cute, pink gingham. And then the bottoms look like they have good coverage. I have like a high cut in the leg and I got a small in the bottoms and in the top I think. So super cute little clothing items. Hey guys happy thursday so i'm actually about to go to another happy hour this one is more of a charity like happy hour to kick off a charity bit like so i just got dressed i'm gonna eat something light really quick and then head there this is the abercrombie bodysuit that i showed last night 
Um, these pants are Princess Polly. They're just like these black linen pants. I will warn you if you dry them, they will shrink. <laughs> um, but they actually shrink to like fit me perfectly. But I feel like they shrunk in length a little bit, but I feel like they still look fine. And then I'm wearing these black little Princess Polly loafers that I just got in the mail today. I was gonna get a pair of Sam Edelman like black loafers that look almost just like this, but they were like $150 and these were like 50-ish. So I went with the cheaper option to make sure I like, like the style of shoe on me. But I figured these would be good to wear. Like I can wear these in and out of work. Um, but I think I've mentioned before in a vlog that I literally don't have any black like flat shoes. Like I only have black pumps, which I that that's obviously very hard because that's a staple, especially in the business world, to have a pair of like black shoes that are you know flats in a way. So I just got these in the mail finally, and I finally have a pair of black flat shoes now. So we love that. So I just got home from the little event. I was literally only there for an hour. Um, there was one other girl I knew there and the rest of the people were like in consulting and stuff. So I was like, I don't know any of these people. And there were like barely anybody from tax there. And I didn't know any of the other people from tax except for the one girl I met there. I'm glad I did just go and like show up and like, you know, see people. And um, it was a nice change of pace for busy season. But I really quickly want to show you all the um, updates I'm making to the apartment for the spring refresh. So I hate that this is the end of the vlog because I feel like nobody's still watching at this point. But if you made it here, you get to see how we're refreshing the room and the bathroom a little bit. So you may have remembered, we have a guess. <laughs> you may have remembered when I went to Target, I think back in like January and I got these like fur pillows because I just like wanted a different texture besides the linen and I think they were great for winter but now that I've had them for a while I realize that it's just like literally like not my vibe. I feel like in the interior design space sometimes with clothing but especially with interior decorating I struggle so much with feeling like my place needs to look a certain way especially with being a content creator and that leads to me making decisions with decorating and just my bedding and stuff that aren't reflective of like what I like and my style I feel like my style is very much so just like a simple clean look but with like a touch of a like coastal modern earthy that kind of vibe if that makes sense that just simply is not these like faux animal prints for euro pillows and i was like i need a refresh a change in this room this room has no personality to it because it's basic and we have literally nothing on the walls and it's just the furniture which is fine and i'm unfortunately i thought they were euro pillow covers but they're actually euro pillows so i have three more pillows coming in to replace these so they're like this really pretty i'll put a screenshot of them i got them on sale target was doing a really great sale 25 percent off like bath and bedding stuff a couple days ago and they might still be doing it when this video goes up not really sure and it's actual pillows so i think i'm going to try to return these if i can like just wash the outsides and then return them because i checked on the app and it says i still can so i'm going to try to return them so that's the first change that's going to be happening to add a little pop of color and some earthiness to like actually fit everything that I like want it to look like without it being like too like girly or anything like that. And I also got this taupe natural colored pillow. It's looking a little darker just because you can kind of see the natural light hitting it, the color it is. But I'm just gonna stick this in the front with like the light green pillows and hopefully it'll look okay. I couldn't say no to getting this because I wanted it to replace the big anthropology pillow I have because I like the anthropology one I have but it's just like I feel like it doesn't fit the rest of the room. I wanted it to just be more neutral. So I got that little pillow. It was $10 on Target, so I got that. I think I'm gonna end up returning this just because I feel like it doesn't fit the furniture, but it fits everything else. If it's like our bedding and the way the throw pillows will be, I just feel like it clashes with the furniture a little too much with like the dark brown. But I got this to put our pillows in that we don't like sleep with at night instead of just throwing them on the floor. Um, so I might return this, but I haven't really decided yet, but I wanted to at least try it. I considered switching out this basket that's just like a black wire basket and putting it where the other one is in the room because I think this one matches the room better and the other one matches the living room in here better than it matches the bedroom. So I might try that. That is it for today's vlog, you guys. I need to get it edited so I can submit it, but I hope y'all enjoyed this little extra vlog this week. I know that this video that's going up, like this video that you're watching right now is actually going to be newer than like the next video that goes up. And be sure to check out Puppy U. I love their T12 Plus rents literally so much and I know you all will too. So definitely be sure to check out them in the description box and the savings you can get in April. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Turn on post notifications, follow me on social media, 